so I was trolling around the internet trying to find some new 1080 Ti news because I'm keeping my nose to the grindstone. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds legitimately important, like I'm very busy and respectable. But so far, the news has been the usual leaks. The whole launching at CES in January, yada yada yada. But then I heard AMD leaked, well Sapphire leaked, that AMD's 490 would be releasing sometime in 2016. So if that's the case, that basically means NVIDIA will definitely show the 1080 Ti or soon after. And if anything, if it's all shown in January, odds are they won't put out the card until something like May or June, knowing NVIDIA. But I came across an interesting article on iTech Post, and so let's not take too much to heart here because it gets kind of ridiculous. The title states AMD's Radeon RX 490 versus the GTX 1080 Ti. Vega may defeat Pascal. The AMD Radeon 490 and the GTX 1080 are the two most awaited upcoming chips. There is no official information coming from both companies yet. But the swirling rumors have already painted a pretty good picture of what gamers can expect. The AMD Radeon RX 490 may sport a new architecture, which they'd have to do because the one that they have for the 480, 460, and 470, whatever the hell, is not cutting the cheese. You know, they're like, oh yeah, the 480 is just as strong as a 980, and it turns out it's barely stronger or just as strong as a 970. So that was a big BS move. There is a rumor that the AMD Radeon RX 490 may be based on the new architecture by the chip maker. So far, the latest chips that have been released were still based on the Polaris 10 GPU, the most recent one being the RX 480, and was made out of the most powerful configuration of said GPU from WCC Technica confirms. This collaborates rumors that the Polaris 10 GPU cannot be used any further. <laughs> That's blatantly obvious. Vega 10 is taking its place. This would enable the AMD Radeon RX 490 to perform better than the predecessors. According to reports, the new chip with the new architecture might have 12 teraflops and 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory on a 4,906-bit bus. The AMD Radeon RX 490 should also have a base clock of 1,200 megahertz according to video cards. It is unknown how much the boost clock is going to be. How does the NVIDIA GTX 1080 compare? The NVIDIA GTX 1080, on the other hand, is based on Pascal architecture that was introduced earlier this year. The upcoming chip is an improved version of the GTX 1080. I think the upcoming chip set is a G... G102, though there is only an expected 10 teraflops of power, the GTX 1080 makes up for the base clock with a 1.6 megahertz that can also be boosted up to 1.7 megahertz. Its memory is 12 gigabytes of GDR5X on a 320-bit bus. These are only paper specs and still unconfirmed as such. There is no clear winner yet and it is unknown how the two will perform in actual, in actual since they have not been released yet. In actuality, oh my god, this is like a real journalist, man. I'm beginning to think I could be a journalist with this writing skills. I mean, I really think this is too hard. Now, on one hand, I think this is supposed to be a clickbaity title, which I'm guessing so. But on the other hand, judging from the way this person wrote the entire article and the way they're talking about how AMD has the, you know, more bit bus, etc., it makes me question everything here. Now, if you recall back when the AMD R9 Fury X hit the market, it was supposed to kill the 980 Ti and it ended up not doing so. And it was similar sort of uh, differences in specs. For instance, the memory interface was 496 bits versus the 980 Ti is 382 bits. The memory size was four gigabytes of HPM. The 980 Ti had, what was it, six gigabytes DDR5. Now, these two are very similar in the sense of how the 1080 has the lower looking specs, but what will really happen here? Now, the only thing that I could say could be a deciding factor is the HPM2 memory. If it's everything that is cracked up to be, fingers crossed, then that could be a serious game changer since GDDR5X is what only as fast as HBM memory anyway. The first iteration, not the second one we're talking about. And then again, this uh, poster failed to mention that the specs for the nine, I mean, the specs for the 1080 Ti 
are still up in the air. Like most people, like all the big tech guys looking at the specs of everything are saying it's got to be GDDR5, not GDDR5X. If it's GDDR5X, that would launch the 1080 Ti right into Titan territory money. And I have a feeling even if the 1080 Ti sports normal GDDR5X, it would still be around $700 minimum right there. And as we already know with the current video card market turning into a price gouging fuck fest, I would not be surprised in the least if the 1080 Ti came out, hit the market, and we were looking at $800 up to $900 or even over $1,000, just shy of the Titan. Making the 1080 Ti pretty much a graphics card only someone with a lot of money to burn can afford. And it would really kill that market that NVIDIA is trying to grab. They're trying to get guys like me who are willing to upgrade our computers to be, you know, close to the top. But we really can't afford to be at the very tippy top. You know, we want to have that extra juice, but we ain't got the capital to back it up. Now, if the R9490 comes out and it's cheaper, which it will be, I'm sure. I'm, let's hope, fingers crossed again. If the 490 comes out and it's cheaper and it performs just as good, if not better, that could really change the game. It would really kick Nvidia nuts and they would have to lower the prices of all their graphics cards substantially for Nvidia to try and be competitive in the market. But then again, we still have the issue where AMD cards come out, it's hard as hell to get them unless like you find one and the price is marked up with crazy levels of inflation with all the Bitcoin bullshit involved in there for some fucking reason. So honestly, I don't know what to expect, you know. I am interested in the 1080 Ti if it's priced right, if it's priced affordably, because I want to upgrade my computer to Skylake, I mean not Skylake, Cabby Lake, for 4K gaming and such. But I would be willing to jump ship to AMD if they have something good, and hopefully, you know, they also offer a new proprietary recording software that is comparable to what NVIDIA is doing, which they currently do not have right now. They just got rid of the Raptor gaming evolved bullshit. So fingers crossed again, they come up with something there, but NVIDIA for me has the edge for the simple fact that Shadowplay is probably the best recording software out there in my personal opinion. Oh well, I've talked way longer than I wanted to. I filibustered shit 10 minutes. I'm sorry for this. Ah oh, well, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel. I was really shooting for two minutes.